Hey everyone, this is CEO Trades, where money works for you. CEO Trades, where money works for you and me too. Tonight, it's Thursday. We haven't been on here for about two weeks because we've been traveling. And tonight, we are excited to be back, excited to be here with you. Why? Because although Ethereum and Bitcoin have not been moving as much as we would like it to, it has had a positive movement, meaning it's been holding up. It has been able to keep up with the actual market in that it hasn't gone on too much under 28,000. And that just goes to show that there is support. There is enough, enough purchasing power to be able to hold that support level so far. As we look at my charts here, let's just take a look at Bitcoin quickly here. It's at 33,680 33, right now. And we can see that Bitcoin has been holding us. As, as the chart comes up here, we'll, we'll be able to see it a little bit clearer. Right, give it a minute here. Okay, you can see pretty much here, it went down this point to 28,000 right here. This was when on June 20, 22nd at, a, at 20, 22nd at around midday. I don't know if that's Eastern or not. I can't tell you, uh, but it did happen. Now, it's been hovering pretty much in this area right here, right where I have my cursor from 32 to 33,000. What's going to happen? How, we, how can we benefit from this? Well, number one is that Bitcoin for the long term is a good hold. For the short term, it might be questionable. A lot of you might be worried. We don't know if you're going to make your money or you don't know if you're going to lose money. Obviously, you lose if you take it out when you pretty much put it in. Because even if it falls down, even if you got in at 40000 and it starts to fall down, you got to hold. Hold. Why? You think Bitcoin's going to remain at that level uh, always? It could happen for a few weeks. It could happen for a few months. It might even happen for a year or two or more. I don't know. But in the long run, if you hold it long enough, you will make some money. That's just a reality. Yes, if you look at some of the postings that I've done, you can notice the history of Bitcoin specifically. And at certain points, Bitcoin has held onto its lows for anywhere from a few days to weeks, months. And I believe there was one period that it was even two to three years. That's right. But in the long run, look where it's at right now. I mean, it's at 33,000. And if you started out anywhere when it's when Bitcoin started out, you'd be well off. But if you didn't and you got in anywhere from 40,000 to 30,000, guess what? There is good news. Keep holding. Keep hodling. That's the new word, hodling. Hodling is the word for maintaining your investment in crypto. Bitcoin, is there any news in crypto, in Bitcoin? Let's see. We're going to take a look here right now and see if there's any news. Give it a moment as it takes a little while to load up the information here. That's just how it is, especially as you're working from Wi-Fi. As I uh, take a, a, a sip of my chai here, as we get ready to see if there's any news in reference to Bitcoin, there is always news in reference to Bitcoin, good or negative. There is always news in reference to Bitcoin. Now, the best news is a lot of wealthy people are going into Bitcoin, Ethereum, and a few others. What is another term for wealthy people? Whales. Big whales. How much do you have to be to be a big whale? I don't know. Put in at least a million or more. That's a good size investment for any of us. Did you know that in order to make realistic money, you need to have a few hundred thousand dollars? However, when is the perfect time to get started, even if you don't have that kind of money? How about now? How about yesterday? How about 10 years ago? Well, if you didn't get started 10 years ago, I didn't get started 10 years ago. And guess what? When's the second best time? Now. That's right. So that's why we're looking at this. How can we invest in Bitcoin, Ethereum, or a few other cryptocurrencies and enjoy the process?
So here's some of the news that's being released. Lightning Network pioneer Jack Maulers aims to reduce cost of buying Bitcoin to zero. Wow, that would be fantastic. To zero. U.S. State Department urges El Salvador to be responsible about Bitcoin adoption, meaning they don't want El Salvador to adopt Bitcoin. They don't because it lessens the value of the dollar. But the value value of the dollar has been lessened for many, many, many years. I mean, just for instance, at least 25,000, 25% of the current U.S. dollar that is available out there has been printed this year, 25%. That's right. I don't know what the total amount, but it's got to be well over a trillion dollars in total that's going around, at least that, if not much more. Fried Bitcoin hash. China's takeout will be delivered globally. Fantastic. Let's see here. Bull signal from Bitcoin bottom is best hope yet for a continuation. Former Bitcoin bull now predicts crash to 10,000. It's going to get worse and worse and worse. It's possible. But what do you do? Do you bail out? If you bail out, I make money. If you bail out when it hits 10,000, I make money. And so do a lot of us make money. So if you want to bail out at 10,000 with a huge loss, be my guest. That's right. If you want to bail out and leave some funds for us, why not? Because the only way for those of us who stay in the market to win is if some of you bail out. Most of you bail out. If most of you don't bail out, then I don't make much money. Those of us who hold on into there. So guess what? What do I recommend? Do I recommend you to bail out? Think about that question. I don't want to answer it. You should have the answer to yourself. So if Bitcoin, there's plenty of news. If we look at my, at our group on Telegram, we have some news. Let me just share that screen. Give me a second here as we get ready to share it. Oops. Give me a second here. All right. Let's see. Sharing. So we have some of this news that came out today, just going over on July 1st. We started posting here, Edward, Edward Snowden's shocking revelations on Bitcoin are everything. You don't need to buy Bitcoin to feel its impact. Bitcoin is making major, major <laughs> impact across the world, probably across your neighborhood, right? What does that mean? You can look into that article right there. Just look it up, Edward Snowden's shocking revelations. Oh, you want to look at the actual article? Let's briefly take a look at it. Let's see if it's coming up. If not, I have to share another screen. Yeah, so let's share the screen. And here we go. Now, as I read this article, it's amazing. Now, Snowden was employed as a computer intelligence analyst in the global communications. A lot of people follow uh, Edward Snowden. Uh, he was granted political asylum in Russia. Snowden enjoys a massive following and participates in public debates by appearing in the news and through his social media handles. He makes it a point to put across his thoughts on various diverse issues. His recent comment on Biden administration's $6 trillion stimulus plan in which he termed it as good for Bitcoin. That's right. It's good for Bitcoin. Why? Because the more money that is being printed, the less, the lower the value of the dollar. And Bitcoin goes up because it is limited. There's only so much Bitcoin, around 21 million Bitcoin available out there. Bitcoin holders, you are under surveillance. Edward Snowden has always been a fierce critique of government surveillance. Yep, we're being watched. One way or another, we're being watched. Once you make that magic number, once you get those returns, you're being watched. You're being tracked. If you don't have those numbers, I mean, if all you're investing is $50, 500 bucks, then guess what? You're probably under the radar. You're not as important. Hold on a second. Let me get a sip here. Bitcoin's public ledger is nothing less than a jackpot for such governments, and that is why they often leave no stone unturned and use state-of-the-art monitoring techniques to keep an eye on it. That's right, state-of-the-art monitoring techniques. Cryptocurrencies are here to stay, but not Bitcoin. 
Snowden sees critical flaws in Bitcoin's design, such as its transparency, security, transaction rate, and speculative ten tendencies. It's a little expensive, that's right. And that's why you heard in my previous in the previous article we just went over that they're trying to cut it to zero, its transaction fees. The existing mechanism of Bitcoin blockchain is married with balancing the record recording of every transaction simultaneously scaling its capacity to process these transactions. What is Bitcoin's worth? Bitcoin, well, there's 21 million coins, over half already been mined, which nudges us to ponder that Bitcoin will soon become a fixed money supply with absolutely zero scopes for further growth or expansion. Wonderful. Bitcoin is slow. That's right. It is slow. There's, you can do so many transactions, then it slows down. Uh, on contrast, Visa and MasterCard routinely process 10 and thousands of transactions per second compared to Bitcoin's transaction, which channel can handle only around seven transactions per second. That's a big difference. So as you look at some of this news, you can see that you get more informed. You become aware of what is out there. Uh, if there is any article worth reading, take a look above Edward Snowden article. It is very, very informative, very insightful. Bitcoin crypto assets to trigger largest redistribution of wealth in history. Macro guru Raul Pal. Meaning, well, if crypto goes down, there will be a lot of people who will sell. That's just reality. A lot of people will sell because they're worried that it's going to crash. Can it crash? It probably can. It probably can, but I don't think so. It could go down to 10,000. It's possible. I believe it's going to hover at 30. It's going to go up to 40 again, and then it's going to come back down a bit. So if you want to cash in at 40, go ahead and then come back in if it goes down. But what happens if it doesn't go down? At least you've made a good 30% return. That's right. 30. If you got in at 30,000 and it goes up to 40, you've made pretty much 30% return. That's pretty good. You're not going to get that anywhere else that easily. Bitcoin, Ethereum, Cardano, and one explosive altcoin could see huge gains in July. Bitcoin, Ethereum, Cardano. These are some of my favorites as well. Charlie Munger calls Robinhood a gambling parlor. I don't like Robinhood, although I have a huge stake on Dogecoin in Robinhood. I don't see myself investing much more in Robinhood, especially because they have a huge agreement with Hindenburg Research. Who is Hindenburg Research? They are a huge shorting research firm shorting, meaning they see where the money's at, they see where it's going, and then they do the opposite, create a loss. And that's how they, they make money. And that's how you lose money if you sell. It's unbelievable, but it happens. These four altcoins have massive long-term potential, according to crypto trader Austin Arnold. Uh, let's see if they mention it here. They don't. We'd have to look at the article, but we'll leave that for another time. So let's go back here to my charts and that way we'll see what is happening and let's see is it in here it should be in here nope it's not in there let's try and share one more screen uh, let's see if it's in here nope it's not in there sorry i have only about four different search engines open and it creates a little bit of havoc here so this is we're back to bitcoin is it worthwhile to jump in? It always is worthwhile to jump in, whether it's going down or it's going up. However, if you're at the top, if you're at 60,000, do you really want to invest at 60,000 when it's at the top? Not necessarily. It depends. There are a few factors that need to be learned. It's not easy to teach it all in 30 seconds. I mean, what did you expect? To be able to become a... Uh, a financial professional in 30 seconds? Come on. It takes much longer than that. It takes so much longer than that. Let's look at Ethereum. Ethereum, one of my favorites. Ethereum right now is at 2,131. And you can see it has moved. It was at 1,900, 1,800. And I think it even hit 17. Yep, it probably did. 1780s-ish. And you can see right here, I'd say this is a bullish chart. This Ethereum is going to skyrocket. I don't know how far. It looks to me a bullish chart. To me, this looks like it's a wave. It's ready to, to hover in and carry surfboards way across the uh, beaches. I think this is ready to go. Let's compare this graph 
to Bitcoin. Let's see Bitcoin compared to that. We'll see it here as it pops up again. And as it pops, you'll be able to see, see it's a totally different chart. You can see there's a, uh, a bag holders right in here. The high was what, 62,000. You can see all these people are trapped in here waiting for this to go above 40 and all the way into, whoops, my car alarm. Sorry about that. Didn't expect that to sound off, but that's going to happen every now and then. Let's just keep it here in case it sounds again. I can uh, shut it down much quicker. Ethereum is a great buy. I had a goal to buy 20 Ethereum by the end of July, and I believe I accomplished that. You know, pat myself on the back. This is wonderful. This is unbelievable news for me. Ethereum, is there any news worthwhile paying attention to in Ethereum? Let's take a look. Let's see what's out there and let's see what we can gather from the news. Why is it so important to check out the news? Because there is certain news that's going to move crypto as well as stocks. That's very powerful. News can be positive or negative. And those who handle it first are able to do something about it. Either they do nothing, they do something, or they take on more in reference to their favor. Do something, do nothing. Usually those are the two options that they have. I thought there was a third one, but I guess I got myself confused there. Scaramucci's Skybridge Capital launches Ethereum fund. That's fantastic. This is was released an hour ago, at least on this site. It could have been released somewhere else. The fund is planned to be a private fund alongside this Skybridge Capital has filed for an either ETF with the SEC. Fun, 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 fun. Wonderful. Masari report. USDC is the most dominant Ethereum backed stablecoin. Wow. That's very good. JP Morgan says Ethereum upgrades could jumpstart 40 billion staking industry. I believe Ethereum is going to take on and catch up to Bitcoin. It's going to go up to at least 40,000, if not 50. Why do I believe that? Because it has many more possibilities because of its lower range. And if it increases 20 times or even 25 times, it'll be up to where Bitcoin is. Uh, Bitcoin is going to grow. But it's not going to grow as fast as it's done in the past because it takes so much more in reference to investing. Got to have some of my team. Now, what is a good investment right now? What are good investments? Obviously, I just told you what I thought about Ethereum and Bitcoin. If you didn't understand that, then you've got to go back over the video. Right here, we're looking at EOS, which is at 398. ADA, which is Cardano at 134, Tron Case, which is at 0 0.065, Doge at 24 cents, Matic at 108, and Bat at 58.58 cents. Now, what is the why in some of these coins? What is the why? Number one, Cardano. We just heard it in, a, in another article. I like Cardano. I believe Cardano has a, a, an important purpose to fill. It's at 134. I believe this was around $2 ish range, uh, let's say about three weeks ago. Is that right? At the beginning of June. As we wait for this chart here, it's going to show us if that's right. So you can see it was here. This was actually May 14th when it was at 250 ish, right up here. And back at the beginning of June, it was at $1.80. And then it dropped all the way to a dollar ten. It's at a dollar thirty-four right now. It's a good dip buy. If you don't want to go all in, then you know, do as much as you can. Do as much as you can. You can see right here, it's consolidating right here at, at this level at 130-ish level. Will it maintain? Will it go below? I don't think so. I think this is gonna go up. I believe it's gonna go up. This has some type of potential to become at least almost a $2, if not a $3 uh, range for this Cardano. Tron case, which is one of those that is being talked a lot. I don't know a lot about the why of this coin. Hold on, let me just get a sip of tea. Is my tea hot? Why would it be hot? It's warm. It's warm. You can see here there are bag holders in here in Tron case. 
this Tron case went up to 17.17. I think it's what it was. It's high, maybe even a little bit higher, 0. 0.179. And right now it's at 0. 0.06. Is it a good time to buy, invest? You bet it is. It's a very good time to invest in this one. This one will go up again. How about Doge? I like Doge. I am getting ready to invest in Doge, waiting for some of my money to clear. Let's see if it's cleared yet. Let's see. Oh, this is the wrong software. I have it in a different software. Um, but I plan to buy some of these here. Tron Case, Doge, and uh, Matic. Let's take a look at Matic. Matic is also at a good price to buy. And you can see here, it reached a high of also 270-ish. And it's now at a dollar eight. That's a good time to buy BAT. I like BAT because it's the brave attention uh, coin and it serves a purpose. There is an explorer called Brave, which is highly secure. And you don't need an antivirus program for that explorer because it, it's all included in that program as well as Brave has a way to pay you to watch ads. Why should you be watching ads for free? What do you gain from that? Come on, you should get paid for watching ads. What happens when everything is free? For example, Facebook or Instagram. Do you think that's a good purchase? Well, guess what? You're the investment. And that's why companies sell you information. It's not the actual software. It's you who's going through Facebook and utilizing it. So why not get paid for going through some of these software? And that's what uh, Brave does. It allows you to get paid. Why not? So BAT is very important. I believe it's a great hold for the long term. EOS I also like. I think it's a very, very useful coin. And EOS right now is at 398. It's a very good buy because it's only half of what it was. Oh, a third it's just it's about 30 percent of what it was back in may 11th which was at 14 dollars. it's at 398 that's these are good buys what is the perfect one for you what is the perfect one now some of this information is not that easy to answer because we are all different people and if i told you x is the best buy are you really gonna buy it or you're going to research it, or you're just going to wing it and close your eyes and pick one. There's some information to be learned out there. There's some things that you can pick up from charts. It's not easily explainable. I'm not going to explain everything. I already gave you one of my ideas on charts. And, you know, there's no perfect time to invest in some of these. However, you can see what's going on from looking at the charts, certain things that will lead you to make better investments. Why not? Now let's look at another software here. Let's see if it comes up. All right, here it is. This is BitMart. I like BitMart. It also has its own coin. I think it's called BMX, which I'm invested in. Not much, but I have something. And it's starting to consolidate in here in this range, 30. Wait, whoops. That's not BMX. I thought it was here. Uh, let me just bring it up on the USD. BMX, BMX. There it is, and it's at 19 cents. That's a very, very good buy right now. In the long run, BMX will go up as well. Let's take a look at the chart and the daily chart. Hold on one second. That way we see where this has been. And it's pretty much holding at the 19 cents. It peaked at the 23 cents. So it's somewhere in between that range. Maybe it goes down to even 12 cents. I'd say we're halfway in between either one, I'd say 19 cents is a good dip buy. However, I'm going to try and hold down and see if it goes back down to 15. If it doesn't, it's going to be a good purchase. I'd say picking up 100 bucks of this will lead you to have a good amount of shares, about, what, 50 shares or so? 50 shares, I believe, is what it is. If not, it's more. I'm calculating this in my head. The... Other software that I'd like to look at for next week is PancakeSwap for next week. PancakeSwap is very powerful. It has a lot of options to use, to utilize it. And that's why you can't learn this all in one moment. Bybit is also another good software. There are certain advantages and disadvantages from each and every software. And I'd like to show you some of those because 
when you start to learn the softwares, you want to expand your knowledge. You want to be able to grasp whatever is being told out there and so that you know if it works for you or not. Let's just take a look at EOS information here, news, and see what is going on with EOS. As you can see, it's down 3%. And uh, uh, if it goes down 10%, it's a really good dip buy. <clears throat> Does that mean it's the bottom? Sorry. <coughs> I just had some tea going the wrong way. <coughs> Sorry for the coughing. <coughs> uh, Block.1 settles for $27.5 in EOS ICO class action initial coin offering. Wow. That is amazing. I didn't know. That's probably why it, it's... Uh, value is down. Basic technology superior to EOS and Ethereum for the fourth consecutive time. CCID ranking, the basic technology behind IOS T number 8211, an enterprise grade high throughout blockchain, supersedes 37 high profile competitors, including EOS and Ethereum per the latest ranking. Wow, that's great. That's very good. If you want to see the rankings of some of these, oh, you, could, you just saw right there, you click up here. And then you check on the rankings. Hold down one second. Here are some of the rankings. Bitcoin is number one. Ethereum is number two. And you can see the volume traded in 24 hours. You can see how much is that. That is amazing that the volume is very similar now. I saw it one third, one half. And look at now. It's it's what? It's about 30% difference or so. Uh, or even 20. Yeah, 30% difference. To the USDT, there's Binance Coin. Binance Coin is very, very important. It's how you use pan Pancake Swap. Just giving you a hint for, uh, for next week's session, so that you're aware of that. And there are a few other things that you need to be aware of to learn, and that will be coming your way. Now, let's just take a look at one other chart in here. Let me just see if it came up. Let's see, where's BMX? No, it's not here. Give me a second. Oh, no, we already looked at BMX. What was the other one that I needed to look at? If I don't see it, where are you? Oh, Safe Moon. Where are you? Where is Safe Moon? It's been here. Safe Moon is traded on Bitmart. It's not traded everywhere. And Safe Moon is a talk of the town when it came out a few months ago. Where is it now? It's at 0 0.00000362, 50362, 50000362. 50 I repeat that because I don't want to confuse people. As you can see here, uh, it started out back in April 5th, and you can see it went up all the way to. 4015, which is very good compared to what it is now. It's five times higher uh, than what it is now. Is this a good move? You bet for the long term it is. I'm getting ready to purchase some more Safe Moon because I'm holding them for longer term. Eventually, Safe Moon will go up. Is it going to go up overnight? No, it's not. But if you hold on to X amount of money in Safe Moon, eventually in the next two to three years, maybe even five, you're going to see your money double, triple, and so on. And that's what people do. Safe moon is safe and going to the moon. Is it? I don't know. But that's what I believe. And you need a little bit of luck in your favor in order to make some of this happen. So, guys, if you are looking to invest, guys and, and ladies as well that are listening here, because we have many women that follow us, if you're looking to invest in Ethereum or Bitcoin or how to invest in cryptocurrencies now, you've got to stay tuned. I'm going to be doing a recorded session on a daily basis where I will show you some of the techniques that I utilize in reference to finding where to invest. I like Safe Moon. I see where it's going. It's It seems to be a good dip by somewhere in here. If I would have purchased at 2.8, I would have already made, geez, I would have already made 30% or 40%. In, in that little move right in there. How do I know? Well, you, I mean, it, you, you've got to do your own research, but you can see here on June 22nd, it was down to 50239, and right now it's at 
50362, which is almost a 50% move upward. That's right. That's why it's good to invest. Good to invest. You, you might not make your money overnight. It might take some time. This took a few days. Jeez, it went up even as high as almost 60% back on June 29th in one week. One week. That's not bad. That's really, really good. So if you're looking to invest, these are some of the ones that I am looking at. I don't believe it's available here in this uh, in this software, but now you can see where some of my investments lie and how you can take advantage on your own. Is there a perfect entry? No, there's no perfect entry, but you've got to see something happening. Either it's moving because if it's stationary, then maybe you're entering at the wrong time. Maybe people are going to sell some of that bit off in order to make some profits. That's right. Now, mine are down. I'm down a bit. I don't, uh, I don't have this software up right now. I'm logged out. And so guess what happens when this falls down and you try and purchase or sell out? Which one do you do? If you sell for a loss, then I make money. If you sell for a gain, then you make money. There's never a perfect time, but I would not sell down there. I would wait at least to getting uh, up to a, a safer level. Oops, this is not safe moon. Safe moon, here we go, safe moon. Uh, I would wait to get up to at least four zeros one because that is almost 60% of what it is right now. 60%, I believe, is what it is, or 70%. Wouldn't that be nice to make 70% returns within a few days? It's possible. I believe some of these stocks are, are, are gonna, these cryptos are gonna move. You might not be able to notice it right away, which happens. But for me, it seems to be leveling off. It needs to consolidate at least another day before it picks up, because it usually picks up on the weekends. Although you can't tell on this chart, but that is how it usually goes about. See back here, this was on June 27th, and then. June 29th, it went up from the, what was it, June 27th? I'm just picking a random year. It was at 50307. And then the 29th, it was at 50406. That's about 30% return as well. That's not bad. What are you waiting for? Stop thinking about it. Stop double guessing or double questioning yourself. Invest. The longer it takes for you to invest, the more you're going to see money go by you. You could lose, but you can also gain. Which one is worth concentrating on? Is it the loss? It's up to you to decide. This is CEO Trades, where money works for you. Until next time, tomorrow, we'll be looking at the markets early in the morning, giving you more information, and then we upload the recordings so that you can follow it accordingly to what we see where the market could be moving. Have a good one. And this is CEO Trade.